How's it going? I am presenting to you today. This is by Zach. It's called the Pro Keys. And the reason why I got this is because I recently just got that iPad Air fourth generation. And as some of you know, I did have the iPad Mini 6, but that's what I traded it in for. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, right here, I can drop down a video for you. Make sure you go check that out. But yes, I am using the iPad Air fourth generation as my main iPad right now. And this is something that I picked up from Best Buy. And I got this for $110 compared to the Magic Keyboard, which ranges somewhere between $250 to $300. So someone like me that was trying to save and using my own money, I decided that I would go with this, which was again, $110. And this is the box that it comes in. And this is how it actually looks like. So in the box, all you really get is the keyboard case, as well as a pamphlet that just lets you know basically how to use this. Right, if I have the right side. Here's a little pamphlet. Now, just when you open it inside, it already tells you some of the features that it has. So it's Type C charging, which is the same thing that the iPad is currently on. It's USB Type C, so that you can use it for your case as well as the iPad to charge. Um, it has a long-lasting battery, seven-color backlit lights, magnetic closure, which is really great, adjustable stands, which I've got to play with. Um, it also is a multi-device screen, so you can add different devices to it. Um, you can connect it to a lot of different things, and it has special function keys. And on the front, it lets you know that, again, it's a detachable keyboard case and that it's backlit uh, laptop style keys, which is really cool. And again, let me show you how it looks like right now. So it has a little strap right here. And then there you go, we're able to see the keyboard as well as the magnetic. So this is magnetic actually. So if you're not trying to use the keyboard but you still want to protect it by something, you can pull this off which is really cool. And again, if you want to put it back, it connects magnetically, which is really cool, really cool feature. So again, if you don't want to use the keyboard like I was last night, you're in bed, you're not really trying to type, and you don't feel comfortable doing this, which is another way to hold it, but you know, you're hitting the keys while you're holding it. It doesn't feel that comfortable. It allows you to just pull it off and your iPad is still protected, which is amazing. That's an amazing feature. And again, in bed yesterday, I just popped it off and I was watching videos like this, easy in bed, which is really great. It's really easy to connect as well on the, Right here, you have the power button, and then right here on number one, you have the connectivity, so you connect through Bluetooth using right here. And then, of course, you're gonna have to go into your iPad go into Bluetooth and make sure that you pair them together. But again, they do have different features right here, which make this really amazing. Uh, again, you know, for the money, it's definitely worth it. Now, the thing that's missing compared to the Magic Keyboard is the Magic Keyboard has a trackpad, where as you can see, this does not, which means that you have to get, you know, a wireless mouse or so to connect. But to be honest, someone like me, I prefer, you know, having a, my, a mouse or mice, whichever. I prefer having that over a trackpad. You know, I, at least you know, I've always been one that likes to use mouse. So using mouse is better for me. Again, you can find some on Amazon or you can go on Best Buy. I'll make sure to drop some, actually, I'll make sure we're in the next video to tell you which mouse I ended up getting and why I ended up getting them. And again, when you're connecting this, it's very easy. Magnetic right there, and there's two levels to this, so you have right here, and then if you want it a little bit closer, right there, there's two different, uh, two different types of ways that you can have your stand. Again, right here, closer or further away. And again, the lights are backlit, which is kind of cool. And there's also a battery button. So if you want to know how much battery is left in this keyboard, you can press the control button and let me know how much battery is left on this keyboard. Again, for $110, you know, you really can't go wrong. Of course, you probably go to Amazon and find something cheaper. 
I, me personally, you know, spending my hard earned cash, I think that the Magic Keyboard is great, but I just can't agree with its pricing. So if you're like me and you're looking for something that's cheaper, that's more affordable, for, you know, you just you're just smart about your money. You don't want to spend 250 to 300 dollars on a keyboard that attaches to your, you know, iPad. But again, I like to use my iPad as a laptop. And again, anyone who gets the Magic Keyboard or this, that's the reason why you want a keyboard, of course, to attach it. You're using it sort of like a laptop. So I completely understand. But again, it's your money. You choose what you do with it. But if I was you and you try to save, definitely check this out. I have a percent think it's worth it, and I think it's a great deal for the, for the money, to be honest, depending on which iPad you have. You know, the prices do change. Uh, if you have one of the older iPads that are 10.2, uh, so the Gen, uh, Gen 9, the next generation one, then I believe they sell it for like 80 bucks at Best Buy. And then if you have the iPad Pros, of course, you know, the price do go up higher, but it is still less than $250 to $300 that you're spending on a Magic Keyboard from Apple. So whether or not you got the Pro version or any other version, just know you will be paying less to get the keyboard case if you go with Zach. And again, I've never heard of them before I ended up purchasing this a few days ago, but again, I love it and I have zero complaints. So I'll put a link in the description for you guys and let me know if you check it out, let me know if you've already checked it out. And if you have a magic keyboard, let me know if it was worth it or did you return it. I really want to know for those people that have purchased it, whether or not it was worth it. But for me, it's just not. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.